Hello, I'm WBZ TV meteorologist Barry Burback. Have your forecast for today in the next several days. And today, not so great if you're over southeastern Massachusetts and the Cape and the islands because there's going to be some off and on rain down there, especially through the morning hours. It may dwindle this afternoon, not be much, but this morning is certainly wet and damp down there with this mostly light rain, nothing that's going to give downpours or flood out the roads or anything like that. No thunderstorms. It's just planes, light showers spinning in from a storm out at sea. And same story, a little bit. Bit of rain may be moving in along the other areas of the South Shore and possibly up through Boston. Uh, so temperatures on the Cape may not even get up, up to 70, probably upper 60s near 70 there. But then you rise up to you get to the upper 70s farther northwest of Boston where the sunshine is going to be more prevalent. And if you wanted to go to the beach and find some sunshine, you would go up to the main coast certainly. And the New Hampshire coast might have a little bit, but not all that much around Boston and certainly nothing over southeastern Massachusetts. And that northeast easterly breeze will be blowing today, as you can see. It may actually blow some of the moisture back inland, so we may get a little clearing coming up later tonight. Then guess what? Another little batch comes in from the ocean, and that may uh, foul things up a little bit for Tuesday. So kind of unsettled weather the next couple of days, but not a huge amount of rain. But then on Wednesday morning, showers and thunderstorms will be coming in, and some of those will be on the heavy side, and perhaps some strong to severe storms. Here's what's going on with the wave heights. As reported by the buoys out here, they're looking like two to five feet. So as we reported yesterday morning in all the broadcasts, watch out for some potential for some rip currents, and that may be repeated today if anybody's going to be going out swimming, especially on the North Shore where there's going to be a little bit better weather. Fenway Park weather should be okay. I'm not expecting any rain for tonight's game or tomorrow night's game or Wednesday night's game either, as Cleveland is in town for three of those games, and they're here on Thursday too, but that's a Thursday afternoon game. The showers and storms we get Wednesday should be out of here by the time we have first pitch on Wednesday evening at 7:10, and now that rain on Wednesday is coming from this system way out in the Midwest. We'll see that then. So here we go with uh, all the cloud cover in southern New England, the sunniest weather close to the high pressure to the north, and so that's the way it's going to be for a couple of days. And that area of rain gets everybody wet on Wednesday before we had the fantastic weather on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and hopefully right on to Sunday too. Thursday and Friday, I think, will be the best days because the humidity will be the lowest and the temperatures will be great with ample sunshine both those days, 80 to 85. Gets a little bit more humid Saturday and then we'll start to feel the higher humidity on Sunday. Hey, I think we have a shot of going over 90 next Monday. That's it for now. Have a great day.